Hey guys, this is Sam Howard coming at you with another video, and it's been a little while because, well, for one, I've been a little busy with work, so I haven't had much time to put out much of anything, but also, there wasn't much I wanted to make a video on. Like, I could make a video on a movie like John Wick Chapter 4, which, that was a really good movie, I did like it, but I feel like that wasn't really enough to warrant making a video about it. But... For the Super Mario Brothers movie, I have quite a bit to say. Uh, for one, I have Box Office Mojo pulled up, and in its first five days, because the movie did open on a Wednesday, it's made $377 million globally. Uh, 204 of it, uh, which came from the United States. So that's quite, quite a start. I believe it is the biggest opening for an animated film of all time. At least unadjusted for inflation. I believe it did actually beat out Frozen 2. Let me look real quick. Um, I guess I should look at all-time rankings. Uh, yeah, top single, non-opening girls is by day of the week. No, that's not it. Opening. I don't really see anything about animation, but I, I heard it reported somewhere that it was. <clears throat> but regardless... Quite a start. Now, I think this film could hit a billion dollars. It has the potential, but we have to wait and see uh, after weekend two uh, to kind of see where the uh, the drop off is. But I I do have some faith in this movie that it will make uh, it will make a billion dollars, and it's because the film itself delivers what it set out to be. <clears throat> it's a simple movie from a uh, a plot standpoint, but the Mario games were never about plot. They were always about the adventure, the journey, if you will. And I feel like the movie uh, does just that. It's a simple plot, but it's played out very well. And uh, the adventure is there. It's a fun movie. The writing was surprisingly good in this movie. I liked most of the vocal performances. The only one I wasn't that big on was uh, Seth Rogen's portrayal of Donkey Kong. I just... I just heard Seth Rogen in the movie. Most of the other actors at least tried to kind of blend into their roles, especially Jack Black. I really loved his portrayal of Bowser in the movie. But I feel like Seth Rogen was just kind of a... He was just there. I didn't... I felt like I was... I didn't... It didn't seem like I was listening to Donkey Kong. I. It sounded like I was listening to just Seth Rogen. And I don't like Seth Rogen very much, so that was a bit of a distraction. But... Other than that, I feel like the movie was well made. There's a lot of great Easter eggs sprinkled throughout the movie. Uh, some of them uh, are more obvious than others, but you could tell that they had a lot. A lot of passion was put into the movie, and I, I got to give props to both Illumination and Nintendo for really bringing their all uh, into making this movie. So, I hope it it, it continues to do well. But. <laughs> Uh, there's been a lot of, uh, comments made about the movie as of late. Um, I'll probably end up pulling up some more. Um, it seems like critics aren't too, um, pleased with the movie. Uh, the most common complaint I hear about it is the plot. Uh, they don't seem to understand that the Mario games were never big on plot. Uh, for example, uh, there's this post on, uh, from, uh, going through a couple of Twitter Posts here, uh, one from Board. They bring up the <laughs> the night and day difference between both the um, the critic score and the audience score. Um, at least as when this screenshot was made. I'll look it up real quick. What it is now. Pull it up real quick. So it did go up a little on the critic side at 56. The audience did go down a little to 96. But still, regardless, it's still a night and day difference. But uh, uh, Board said, content uh, review systems are broken. Because critics have a problem with Chris Pratt, the experts have deemed the new Mario movie a D-, even though audiences clearly love it. Both of these groups are obviously biased, but the disparity here reveals a major problem. And the thing is, this isn't any. This isn't new uh, with this movie. It's it's been it's been a trend for a long time. Although it tends to be more on the critics liking a particular film and the audience is not clicking with it. I think uh, the big one here is Star Wars: The Last Jedi. 
<clears throat> just look it up real quick. And it, it sits at a 91 in Rotten Tomatoes, but it's uh, for critics. But for audiences, it's uh, it's a 42. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so uh, we often see the the reverse. But there's also other movies that are more like Super Mario Brothers movie. For example, I look up Bullet Train, which was a uh, movie that came out last year that kind of became a sleeper hit. It's currently sitting at a 54% with critics, and it's a 76 with audiences. So it's not as drastic, but you, you kind of get the point. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of movies today where both critics and audiences alike enjoy it. I think Puss in Boots was one movie, but uh, there are a lot of movies where they they tend to disagree. Super Mario Bros. being the big one. But what makes this post even better is that Elon Musk weighed in on it. He said, wow, the critics are so dis- disconnected from reality. Well, you know what? I couldn't agree more. Uh, <laughs> the the critics, the, as I said already, the the most common, common criticism I hear is the plot, but they, they seem to not understand that the games were not big on plot. <laughs> Here, here's, a, here's a great Twitter comment I, I saw, or Twitter post, or tweet, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> from CTV, they posted a link to a uh, an in-depth review on the movie. Um, they, they, say, they say the Super Mario Brothers movie has all the charm the charm of an unplugged Game Boy. Now I'm not sure if I'll see the comment here. I need to go through it again. But uh, somebody said uh, Game Boys run on batteries. So, <laughs> so yeah, but there's there's so many great comments here. I, I love this gift in particular. Bill Masson's a great movie, but this is this is just great. <laughs> it pretty much sums up <laughs> everything in this post. Uh, D-Day Cobra, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. <laughs> Our expectations for you were low, but holy fuck. <laughs> God. That's great. Yeah, there's there's a lot of great comments here. I'm hoping I can find. Uh, there's one comment I, I'm just I'm looking for. Uh, I can't find it now. And where is it? I'm not sure if I'll end up finding it, but there's there's just so many great comments here. <clears throat> but yeah, the, the critics just don't understand what makes, what why they don't understand why audiences enjoy the movie. They under they don't understand what makes the the film special. And they don't seem to understand the source material hardly at all. So uh, I think it's that all. I think that's all I wanted to say about Super Mario Bros. I enjoyed the movie, and I just want to take a couple minutes to kind of uh, talk about it a little bit, and kind of go through what some other people are saying about it, the responses to the uh, <laughs> the critical reviews of the film. So um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, feel free to subscribe. I hope to get some more content out in, in the near future, but I'm kind of at the mercy of what goes on in the world, so uh, we'll have to wait and see. But until then, I'll catch you guys again later.